Hey guys, um, so the video you're about to see is a small impromptu speech I gave this weekend at the Hassas Villa, the place where I used to live the first two months um, that Thomas organizes. I, I used to do this event every weekend, but I haven't done it in a while. And um, this one got filmed, so I wanted to share it. Um, speaking and public speaking is still one of the my biggest fears, I would say. It's not really a fear anymore, but like I'm very, very uncomfortable still doing it. Um, and um, I really like kind of the, the topic of prompt I get. So kind of the process, how it works. You draw a random question or prompt, um, and then you don't have any time to prepare, and you have to talk about that prompt or question for at least a minute, and you get cut off if you talk over two minutes. And the result of that is what you're gonna see now. I hope you enjoy that, and then see you in the next video. Peace out. It's been a while. It's time to bring back the penguins. Well, you can bring a penguin in any question, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, are there new rules or something? No. No, it's still the same rule. Still the same. So out of it. It's scary. <laughs> I relate with you. <laughs> okay. Do what you can. Who made this question? It's a perfect question. It's fine. It's fine. I'm happy you got it. Do what you I'm can. really happy you got it. Is it yours? Yeah, it's mine. Do what you can't, or do what you can. You can. Do what you can. Do what you can. Huh? Oh, that's the topic. Okay. Today I'm going to talk to you about why it's important to do the things you can't do. And um, I thought I'm going to bring it back to this topic. <laughs> no, actually not. Um, I think the what we all we often I often forget is that the thing that I can't do are temporary. It's it's my current state of self and so doing the things you can't do is really just about doing the things you're scared to do because that's the thing that's holding you back. It's not the fact that you cannot do them, it's the fact you, that you think by doing them you're embarrassing yourself. Yeah. This is an example for me. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not very comfortable talking in front of people and um, I'm not good but I think it's more so not it's not about me not being good at it, but just doing it because over time you're going to get better at it. And, um, and that's with anything, right? Um, it's, it's repetition, it's putting in the work, it's, it's doing it over and over again, you're going to become comfortable. And once you become comfortable and you don't have this fear anymore, um, you're going to get better at it. And that's why you should do the things you can't do. Thanks. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot But why now? Holy shit I just wanna make a trip to the China